All we need for this project is an ESP8266 board, a relay module for my case I have an 8 channel relay module but I'm going to choose these 4 relays and since we don't have to use any custom design I'm going to choose the strip board, some male to male and male to female jumper wires. The first step will be soldering this header which will be used to support the ESP8266 board on this strip board. As that is now done we need now to connect our ESP board and remember we are using a continuous strip board so we need to make a separation in order to prevent shorting our ESP pins. <music> the circuit diagram we are going to connect the four signal pins to our relay module then we are going to provide power to this relay module through the end pins which are ground and VCC <music> time to connect our signal pins to the GPL pins of the ESP board which are D1, 2, 5 and 6. You can always customize these GPL pins to your own design. Here is the board where we have the lamp holders connected and the power intake as well as the four push buttons for the manual control mode when we don't have the internet connection. For the reader we are going to connect the power input to the common pin then tap the output on the NO of the reader. <music> Finally, we now connect our input signals from the push buttons according to the circuit diagram. <music> So this is the code and first you can see that we have defined the template ID and the name as well as the token. So these three uh, template uh, name and the uh, token will be sent to you for the email by the prank application. So you can see here we have prepared a ready to use code for you for your device. So you can just click here then you can copy and see the template ID, the name and the token. So 
then we include the blank uh, library here then here we define the GPIO pins which we have connected our relays so for this case is D1, D2, D5 and D6 then the switch pins which will be used for manual control we have connected it to SD3 for some devices you just see it written as SD then the next uh, switch is connected to D3, D7 and RX then these are the virtual uh, pins in the brank then we have the toggle state here so this one will be used to remember the state of the relay and update it then here we have the Wi-Fi so here we define the Wi-Fi the SS SID then is the Wi-Fi this is my Wi-Fi which I will use then the password so when when you are connecting to the Wi-Fi make sure you don't use any space in between otherwise you have troubles while connecting your ESP to the Wi-Fi then that's pretty much simple I'll give out the ring description where you can see and copy this code and you can use it as well it's just very simple then this is the manual control so we are going to read the status of the switch pins and if the status will be low then we are going to turn off the uh, the the relays that is and then the this toggle state will be used to update the button status in the brand application so that's pretty simple so let's download this and see what we have at the end of this when you're done uploading the code it's now time to connect this one to the power source and i'm using the tester to check if you have power on the relays then i'm going to choose my 5 volts adapter to power the esp board and first step would be testing if the manual modes are operating without an internet connection and as you can see the push buttons are working as expected let me connect to the internet and show you how it works on the prank application. As you can see, I'm now connected to the internet and I'm on the prank application and I'm able now to turn on or off any light using my smartphone as long as the ESP board is connected to the internet. <music> that's all for today guys if you've loved the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more videos see you in the next one